My name is Troy Kyle. Uh, my family and I have been at Faith Bridge for about three years now, maybe going on to four. During the summer, we had some friends out to the lake um, over a holiday weekend. And the kids, being kids, all wanted to go out on the golf cart. And the neighborhood's a closed off neighborhood, so there's really not a lot of cars to contend with. And we felt pretty safe. Uh, right after we kind of got lunch mostly prepared is when we got the first phone call. The first phone call was from one of the, the boys calling his mom. And he was frantic. He said, we've been in an accident uh, in the golf cart and we need help now. We just were going down the hill, weren't slowing down, um, took a turn too fast and flipped. I just remember being caught underneath. We took off flying as fast as we could to go find the kids. As I'm on the phone call, I hear my daughter in the background screaming, there is a hole in my knee. I start thinking about, oh my God, this, this is much worse than we thought it was. And as we pulled up on the accident, um, the entire golf cart was laying on its side. Kids were strewn about. Yes, when I looked down, my daughter had a four inch gash in her knee. Her leg was completely open. Uh, on that side, road rash up and down both legs. Off we went flying to the, to the uh, emergency room. You can imagine three eighth grade girls screaming and crying in the car. Me and my friend Lainey were in the back and my friend Albert was in the front. Me and Delaney just started praying out loud. Um, I remember I was squeezing her hand so hard. You know, when you think about if it were you praying, man, what would I be praying for? <laughs> yeah, God, please stop this, please fix me, please. You know, uh, you know, I would be asking for things. Not what happened at all. They started praying and the first words out of their mouths were, thank you. Thank you for looking after us. Thank you for being here for us. We were just talking to God and telling him how great he was and just thanking him for us just being able to even get out of the situation. It was just this constant um, prayer of thanks that you heard from the back seat in the whole car at that time got quiet. Um, the mood kind of changed, everything kind of, and uh, that thankful prayer just kept going. I've never heard um, a prayer like that. I don't know what I thought she was learning in kids ministry. You know, it's almost like, you know, when I'm around my daughter, she's picking up and learning things from me, um, just being around me. Well, she, the same thing's happening at church. Uh, and being in that church body, she's learning um, better ways to go through life. Uh, and, the, and it's being exampled from the leaders down to her. And, and she's a shining example of those leaders' personalities and, and traits. Um, that they are exhibiting at church. I'm excited to see that it's working in her. My curious leader, been there for like maybe three years now, just from going every Wednesday night. She's one of those people that I really look up to because I've seen how she found Christ and how Christ has worked through her. I I'm hope, I'm, you always hope you're doing the right thing. You hope that you're putting your kids in places where they're learning the right stuff. And that's what the youth ministry is doing right now. It's everyone that she touches there is feeding her just a little bit more and a little bit more, but they're all feeding her the same story, which is great. Sydney actually ended up having to have surgery. Um, the plastic surgeon and the orthopedic surgeon got in there, were able to determine that it had not invaded the knee. He told her as soon as she could walk on it, start walking on it. And volleyball season was two weeks away. And if you feel good, start playing. And watching her play volleyball uh, this season, um, as a dad, it makes you want to cry. To see it play out when it counts, right? Everyone can talk a good game, but you know, when your knee's ripped open and you're flying to a hospital, it's much better than I would have done. I can tell you that had that my knee been ripped open, it would not have sounded anything like what came out of my daughter's mouth. It's humbled me quite a bit. It's made me so thankful. I'm not saying because she's up playing volleyball and running it that oh, I'm even more happy or more thankful. That whole incident, she could have 
you know, something worse could have happened. Her knee could have been blown, volleyball shot, you know, whatever. That was not going to shake my faith in God because in the back of that truck, she sat there thanking God. And it makes me realize that that's, that's the same prayer that's in my heart almost every day.